Oh, hello. Welcome, everybody, to VR Mount Channel 2. Uh, aid in VR, that's right. This is a match. I got some DMs saying, hey, we got our uh, cast and match redemption there on Channel 1. It happens uh, right now. Well, in a couple hours, and I just saw it. And I was like, hey, I'm here. We've got an open channel. You've got an open caster, so... You know, uh, just in time, I do suppose. Thanks to these teams for waiting, as we do have this platinum matchup between Vandal and Evil about to begin in just a hot second. So, yeah, with that, uh, welcome everybody to the stream. Got La Dank, Dank, Dance. <laughs> Need an antidote. Uh, got an antidote in there, as well as Haldbert. Best yes, high platinum match here, I do believe. I mean, you look at the. These two teams with uh, impressive records, suffice to say. Evil with 7 and 5. Vandal, even more impressively, they're 11 and 1. Quite the record. Only, uh... In fact, I don't want to cast his curse it, but uh, I believe the one match they lost was uh, the one that I happened to cast of theirs a couple weeks back versus TKO, right before the break. So, uh, no jinxes. Unless Jinx is in the chat. But otherwise, no jinxes. Just a great game about to happen for you guys here. Also, no pally cams, because, like I said, uh, this was rather last, last minute. <laughs> so I don't have my stuff set up. But that said, I do have this match set up, and we're off into the races, as it will be Team Vandal, the immediate shot. Southern Sniper from down south hits the Northern Lights. Thir uh, three points on the board, and Vandal is uh, off to a good start. Rocking with this roster of Southern, Damp Potato, Duller Ranger, and Punitive. Over on uh, the evil side, it's B-Ball. 999, it's Kai, Top Cheese, and Reaction Time. 6,000, not quite over 9,000 yet, but might get there just the same. Uh, so off his joust, so here we go, first offensive one for Evil. Sorry, Chubbs, no pallet cam. <laughs> Maybe I'll, I'll hack something together real quick. Let's see, though, really quick on the shot, it's a two-pointer, seven meters deep, so nice, uh, quick comeback off that last score. And they'll get on the board now for Evil. Nice touch. Uh, to Eric, this was a ca mass cast uh, redemption from Channel 1 there. That said, that said, that said, happy to cast as many teams, many ranks as we can, of course, but... Right place, right time are you guys. Della Ranger here with a disc, working it up the floor. I know we have some, uh, a lot of matches here tonight, and got some shots off just as well from Della Ranger. Be some master tier matches on Channel 1, I believe, uh, starting in half an hour, or actually about 20 minutes. Of course, one great way to guarantee your cast, indeed, getting, uh, watching those Channel 1 streams, getting those channel points, 15k of them, and you get one of your matches prioritized for a cast within that week or so. Uh, B-Ball here right up the floor and just not contested uh, enough, walked it right in. Did have someone at the toes, but was unable to get the grab, so we're seeing a lot of these very fast breakaway plays off of these jousts thus far in this first round. Then we do get a timeout initiated, so... Maybe trying to address a situation? Or just discuss it, talk it through a little bit, but only two minutes in. So... I'm kind of intrigued by what the, the reasoning was, just based on the fact that uh, nothing... ...too obviously wrong right now, it seems like. As I say that, though, we do get someone leaving or a crash, so it looks like that was Southern Sniper here on uh, the Team Vandal side, so maybe that was indeed a case, I just missed it. 99 ping, 999, gotcha. So yeah, that might have been the case. That's unfortunate, especially only a couple minutes into the match. Have to, to expend your tech time out like that, but gotta do what you gotta do. But yeah, over on channel one uh, will be that Ignite game uh, versus New York Kings. Just the same, uh, let's see. But that will be at, sorry, the top of the hour. Um, no, in, okay, so in, in 17 minutes from now will be Spaghetti versus the New York Kings. And then right after that, half an hour after that, will be Ignite versus New York Kings. So back-to-back -back Kings matches, that'll be fun for sure. Glad to see that uh, both so much, for, so much for subtlety on the cams over there will be doing that. And also glad to see Sir Dimwi back in the cast. Had to miss last week uh, due to some uh, painful issues of the vocal variety. <laughs> but I'm glad to have Dimwi back in the cast as well. We'll be doing that with Sputnik Cobra. It looks like these teams still trying to get the fourth player back in for Vandal, Southern. 
Yeah, that spaghetti match versus Kings will be interesting for sure. Of course, spaghetti, the newest team, or uh, well, actually, yeah, the newest team to the Master Division in North America. Following that Challengers Cup, it was Anomaly able to maintain their master uh, calling and Spaghetti re-earning their master title uh, after that cycle won Challengers Cup just two weekends ago. See, so play enjoy also in the chat. Please update us on how the first Eclipse team players are doing. Eclipse players are doing. Uh, Sure, I'll do that. Uh, I actually did answer that question on, your, on the stream the other day. It just took me a little extra time, so maybe you dipped out by that point. But yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm sitting here casting for VRML um, more often than not on most days. I shiny still busy with esports outside of VR, of course, but uh, with Apex and as well as doing some coaching things and things like that. But he's uh, still busy in the, the pro esports scene in 2D. And then meanwhile, Lemming, of course, the uh, lead and really only developer. As far as I know, of Gorilla Tag, which has been highly, highly successful over there on uh, the Steam Store as well as uh, Quest. I believe it's like uh, experimentally available on Quest. But yeah, so all of Eclipse still heavily involved in the esports scene and, uh, and the gaming scene. Uh, suffice to say. Meanwhile, Simeon, you now he was uh, on our roster the second season and third season, but. He's a nurse in real life, RN, so, you know, he has, he's had his hands quite full doing the uh, real-life heroics there. But yeah, kind of interesting how that turned out, huh? Far, far we have stretched and yet still so uh, involved as a, as a team, sort of. Just separately in gaming. <laughs> uh, anyways, good to see you, though, Play Enjoy. Glad to have you back here in, uh, on the streams. As far as I remember, Play Enjoy was one of the first uh, to uh, donate to, to not VR Mel, but Pizza League at the time. I, I still remember that. It was something like, what, $20 or $30? Which, uh, again, that was like unprecedented at the time to get any kind of subs or do donations uh, too much. So I still remember, even three years later. <laughs> Unless I'm wrong, then that, well, that, uh, that would be awful, wouldn't it? But yeah, good to see you here. And speaking of pizza leaguers, I know Duller Ranger, you see over on uh, the Team Vandal side, uh, played a lot of pizza league. I, I believe might have been the only one, perhaps punitive as well. I'm not positive on that, though. But good to have that history. Anyways, back into this round after the timeout. Southern Sniper is back in the match, so that's a good thing to see. Uh, we'll be top cheese right back into that wedge. We'll be picked off here by Punitive, but then right back by Reaction Time. Just in a quick second, causing a turnover. Meanwhile, the stacks there losing their initial grabs, but back on the approach with some time to spare. Oh, and well, you would have thought, but Duller Ranger got the hands on it. Nonetheless, it's a goal and a one-point game as uh, Evil does have the one point advantage now over Vandal, but we've still got a lot of time. So, uh, very quick scoring. Considering it's only been three minutes of action. Already 11 points combined between these two teams. The Dull Ranger now with that pick back, sending it over to, well, Southern, but just missing the grab. So, B ball right back at him. And will Eclipse ever be back in competitive play? Well, I doubt it, at least not, not the old roster. That said, a shot there. Not able to be had, but a rebound uh, just might over by the boot. Adela Ranger over to the right lane. That's going to be cleared on the way. Three players retreating. Uh, two grabbing the disc, then one just into the deep back line in case they needed a reset. And they just might have, as you see them, kind of struggling to get that disc off on the other end. Although, it does slide by a couple of cutters on a rebound. Maybe a little miscommunication there, but Evil still trying to get, gather their uh, bearings, and they will do just that as it bounces and gives it a pretty good chance at a goal again. And another save, but the same result. That is two in a row going against Duller, who got the grab, but unfortunately, uh, it Chicago the other way. Never love to see that, but it seems kind of be a, a more... I don't know, a more, a more regular thing these days? I've seen, I've seen a fair handfuls of those. Chicago's compared to prior seasons, unfortunately. But of course, it does tend to equal out by the end of a game, where, where you'll see it. Sometimes it gives, uh, it pays the one team's advantage. Sometimes it pays towards the others. But uh, that aside, just trying to control the controllables, of course, here for Team Vandal, and you figure, okay, well, that was unfortunate. Two goals in a row that went that way. Uh, now three, just a more direct approach into the goal from B-Ball. 
But yeah, in those situations, yeah, I'd be saying, okay, well, that definitely stinks. It feels like we, we deserve the, the grab, to just, uh, deserve the credit, but on the flip side, I remember when things used to go, uh, go against my team like that, talking about Eclipse and stuff. That used to be one of the biggest things to prioritize, just saying, okay, try not to uh, tilt too much at that, control the controllables and figure, what can we have done differently or better uh, to prevent that next time? Because there's always something uh, that they could have done better, that we could have done better, right? That's what you got to focus on, because those... Those tiltable moments can definitely determine the outcome of a match if you, uh, you let it get to you. So what they're trying to do right now is control the controllables. They do get a shot, but that was headbutted out there by B-Ball. Stellar save. I mean, just right in, head right in the right place, it seems like. Because he was stunned. Now with that, another one. Top cheese from the top lane of midfield. Uh, just hitting it. 16 meters out, full confidence. Only... Now what, 12 meters a second there? Gently into the stream. On the stream. Also see Fulsome and Victoria in there. Welcome, welcome. Simple Goose. Also, and off this joust, a turnover will be let loose. Uh, right into the collection by Kai. Kai into the backboard area. Unitiv able to take this over first. So still a few minutes left. I mean, they are not... Certainly out of the woods, although that will help the case as they now will have that double digit advantage. So, as I say, you know, things can always change on a dime. I would not be surprised to see that happen here still yet, uh, especially given the scoring pace, right? High scoring, really, uh, for both teams, the way it started off. But with that, on this launch, uh, Damp Potato will overtake and get stunned out, but finds a pass uh, successfully to Della Ranger. So they do need this play. They definitely need some scores to keep them alive in this round, bring it back to within single digits. But uh, as you see, a bit of a turnover there. Just unable to reach that midfielder and already on the stacks uh, into the floor. A couple of players for evil. A little bit faster to these recoveries and more collected with the passes will result in the goal. 17-5. to five. This is a huge scoring output put in by evil. The chat in there kind of pointing out, and I, I kind of agree. Uh, just slowing it down for Team Vandal would do them good because they are missing some of those uh, passes. Too hard to catch. Some of these clears as uh, well off of their offensive jousts have not been able to connect. So this one finding its first mark, and now just, again, step by step, find the second one. Uh, that said, see, a, a tough pass woven right first. It was not a, a forced pass. There was no one really pressuring the pass. as a lot of pressure up front. So that was already one disadvantage going against Vandal, is that it wasn't really a pressured pass. The second thing was that they passed it between these two Geos uh, with some momentum, some fadeaways, right? So that put in the difficulty multiplier on that pass itself. So there were about two or three different things that made that a tough rollout for Team Vandal, uh, where it wasn't, it didn't have to be that way, right? Uh, that, as I say that, though, a dive in and just kind of out of sorts here on the offense, trying to make a grab that will be taken by reaction time, although loses it awkwardly off the bounce on that side wall. Uh, so then into the top of the lane, another one of those open goals, unable to be punished upon. Rebound uh, on that disc by Damp Potato. Damp Potato now attempting to evade and now connect with Deller for this clear way into a dribble maybe. But, but again, unforced turnovers, name of the game here in this round especially. And you got to wonder if that is predicated off of those unfortunate uh, Chicago goals that happened earlier on. Because ever since then, it has been a stampede running away is evil. 19-5 to in first round. Uh, and yeah, Channel 2 has no prediction poll, so even if I was here early, I wouldn't be able to set up anything for you <laughs> uh, beyond a non-point poll. But yeah, this was a casted match redemption that I just happened to catch right before it happened, and so I was here, and thus, here we are. Uh, there's Top Cheese with the top threes yet again, eight meters deep on that shot, and they are 22 points up. Absolutely huge output, scoring-wise, from Evil. But yeah, this this uh, my setup time was basically four minutes on this match, and we got everything that we could. Again, no prediction polls here on channel two. Uh, that said, a channel three. 
Good focus there from Team Vandal to get themselves back on the board again. That will be huge for them going into the next round, I think, because otherwise they had been scoreless for, what, maybe f uh, five, six minutes of play, basically since uh, that timeout that happened, which was only, what, I think three minutes into the game. So, yeah, long scoring drought able to finally end there thanks to Team Vandal's three at the end. So into the uh, score screen there, courtesy IgniteVR.gg, of course, and the Spark application. And not the, certainly not the round, not the way they wanted that round to have gone for Team Vandal. Uh, I think definitely on, you know, kind of on, a, on an average day, on a normal day, uh, they would be much more on top of things. I, I do think it was just those Chicagos that happened, those two in a row. Which, by all accounts, will stress out any team and will just make you feel all kinds of bad, verifiably. Don't blame any team for doing uh, for feeling that way, but that said, that was definitely a, a turning point. Because ever since then, it was just a, a lot of these unforced turnovers, uh, these jousts where they were throwing passes too early or they were making tough passes that ended up bouncing off different uh, Geo and then turning over. Basically, the, again, the stuff that they could have controlled, for instance, uh, was not being controlled, and that's what turned into... Well, the, uh, the avalanche we saw there in the latter five or six minutes. Now, but that said, into the second round we go. Uh, Team Vandal, perfectly within the realms of a comeback here. I mean, again, 11-1 and one is their record, okay? Uh, they have been a very dominant team across this season thus far. For Evil, uh, win positive win ratio as well on their record. But 11-1 and one is nothing to scoff at uh, whatsoever. So I think, again, if they can just refocus and... A part of me is honestly surprised too, Vandal didn't opt for maybe taking a few extra minutes in that intermission. Either way though, some passing plays here will be disrupted. A little miscommunication from Evil's part, so they're gonna have to space out. Uh, the defenders, meanwhile, trying to get back into the zone and, well, in the front line, Southern Sniper buying some time. Plenty of it in order to get a clear. And now recovery, there's a three, and into the goal it goes off that bounce. Damp potato, that's a damp shot. That's damp, good timing. <laughs> Three points, first for Vandal. Uh, a great hit to start the round off the same way they ended round one. Despite it being a loss, they had that last three. Now they have the first three. Play Enjoy saying, remember giving $30 of what to share with us and we're cheated. I don't think we were cheated. <laughs> I remember that. That said, uh, let's see if they can get back into the goal for another three-point shot. They remember how that was, because it only happened about 30 seconds ago. But no, I, de I definitely remember that. Yeah, uh, was very kind of you. That's a very nice find, though, of Duller. M momentum has shifted, I do believe, here. Although, off that save, unfortunately, outnumbered and into the goal. So Top Cheese able to put it right back. Very unfortunate, because, uh, and you know what did it there, I think? Another bit of a rush clear. Because that was a, just a professional level save. I don't know how else to describe it. That was great from Duller. However, however, they had three players in the goal here. At least three players. They got the save. There was no one in the bubble with them. And then they threw it away uh, into an interception on the midfield. So uh, th that's what's being killer for Vandal. Because otherwise, they're playing well in this round thus far. But same as last round, they got to clean up on where they're throwing those clears. And how early they're throwing those clears or passes. The damn potato working up the floor had those first three points earlier on. It's about to be Dove upon, so it does manage to give a, a pass off to Duller in the midfield. Good job there. Duller now waiting for the rest of the players to get into the front line. And here it goes. Now they've got the numbers. It's three on two in the goal. They can press this, and they'll just dunk it gradually, casually, punitive, going for the smart play, recognizing not only did they have the numbers, but they had a goalie who uh, looked like was not going to commit. So anytime you have a goalie who's not committing to the dive, Walk it in as close as he can, absolutely. Five, four, so back into reaction times arms on this joust, and they send one to the midfield. Need to be careful of that stack, though. Uh, this time, a lack of communication, perhaps on Evil's part, will dislodge the disc and give another opportunity. Although said opportunity is... Momentarily lost, punitive overtaking, midfield interception, and back to the possession of Vandal, who... Gather around that trap, uh, looking like a take back by Damp Potato. Damp Potato now 
Soft handoff to Punitive at the bow tie. Punitive up high, but Kai guarding those lanes by that shoulder, causing a turnover, and back into the blue zone where Evil will have some offense potentially. A tight angle, the pizza slice in Spirit of Pizza League, but no, unable to make headway as it will play off into the midfield on a clear by Punitive. Back into the trap. So let's see, positioned out again. There's the numbers. Walking it ho home and Duller Ranger. Finding said home on the Ranger. That is where these two teams and the Antelope play. Uh, Della Ranger though, putting them up in a much nicer, much more stable second round from Team Vandal. Definitely able to wipe away the tears of yesteryear. Like I said, I, never gonna blame a team for having human emotions. Uh, two Chicago's in a row would make me cry. <laughs> but they've done a great job to come back in this round. They're looking just a, a bit more patient and a bit more collected with the disc, as I do indeed collect that disc. So into the deep end, trying to maybe punish the disadvantaged defense, so although they do get their boosts a bit faster. Now that'll sail into the trap. Taken by reaction time for Evil. Evil to the boot to uh, B-Ball. B-Ball, one more pass to Top Cheese. And on a stun goalie courtesy of B-Ball. And Kai as well was in the goal. So, great job by Evil, putting them back within three points. Agent Victoria saying might be difficult on Evil because they're uh, might be flustered from the score turnaround this round. And yeah, that's a potential thing. Uh, similarly, though, it's for most teams in the league, you also have to expect, right? Like the, the competition is something you always have to respect, uh, whoever you're playing. So uh, it, it for 99% of teams in the league, very few exception, basically, you're not going to see two rounds in a row where it's a near mercy type situation, right? Um, especially at this stage of the season as setting the stage for a round three, Southern Sniper from 14 meters out. This stage in the season, now that, uh, especially outside the Master Division where the ladders have played their course and, and teams have, for the most part, found their uh, their relative ranks, right? Uh, you don't expect, you don't expect to have a lot of lopsided matches in the ladder after six or seven weeks of play. So turnarounds are gonna be inevitable against any team. And that's uh, kind of for evil now. It's, it's up to them, much like Team Vandal in round one. Uh, it's up to evil in this round to say, okay, things aren't going quite as much our way as they were. But we got to be okay with that. And we just got to control the controllables, which is to say, uh, get that communication in, find some of those passes again, because they're, they're making a lot of those uh, turnovers. Are, they're very similar to what Team Vandal was doing in round one. It's just, it, it, it's basically flip-flop. Uh, the nice thing for Evil here is they will have a three angle, is that they're only down by a couple goals. There you go. Four points to be exact. And six on the board for Evil off of that slap in, just off the rebound from Top Cheese. Totally doable to make a comeback here and take a sweep. Uh, so with that punitive on this approach, they are definitely in control in terms of uh, the scoring and the, the clock. So as long as they take care of this disc, find some high percentage shots, uh, they'll have some comfort going into the latter half. But what a grab by Kai on that note. Didn't even need to wait for the goalie to try to save it. Kai just did it from a few feet away. A great grab from Kai. This is going to open up an angle. A uh, b-ball slinging it. That side winding clear into the arms of reaction time. Looking for the three, maybe no, an eight meter two. So that is tough, but at the same time, they are within reach. Only two points separating these teams. 11, 10, Team Vandal, eight, joust advantage again. Point advantage again. And a loose, loose point advantage at that, but uh, still clock to spare, 2.30. So definitely uh, reaching that clutch period. Where they are, they're just trying to make these connections, but a turnover here will be caused thanks to the defense from Evil. And now Evil has a chance to maybe tie or take a lead. But getting lost in the midfield now, Team Vandal attempting to regather their bearings. But B ball and a good slap. Uh, it's going to be a numbers opportunity this way, and a good steal. Diving out of there was punitive, I believe, and another good save. Damn potato! 
putting on the damp stamps and the clamps inside the defensive zone. They are in a zone. They need to do it thrice. Can they? Won't they? Yes, they will. The Duller Ranger this time covering the lane and able to cause a turnover there uh, on a pass intended for B-Ball. Now, unfortunately, although the phenomenal defense was had, uh, this three just might about go in. Rebounded and now a tie-up. Kai taking the score away from Cheese, but nonetheless, it is 10 to 10. Only a minute and some change left in this round. Very nice job from Evil to be persistent at it. Otherwise, for Team Vandal, they played that defense so well. They had, basically, they, they, did, they did one of everything. They had one great dive save. They had one great direct save. And then they caused a turnover as well on a cross pass attempt covering the lanes. So literally all three aspects of bubble defense, they accomplished wonderfully and yet they were still scored on. And that could definitely hurt a team uh, in terms of the mentals, right? Because defense is hard. And to do it three times successfully but still be scored on the end, that definitely takes a bite out of your momentum. But that said, Punitive working it up the floor here with a move into the goal. That's going to bounce and uh, had nowhere to go as it will be a turnover and sent into the opposite lane. So with 42 seconds left, there's potential here for Evil, who was down for most of this round, to take a lead if they play their cards right. Great clear there from Dan Potato. I also had a teammate in the area, but point is, they did avoid the turnover. It will be sent to Duller. Duller trying to eye it down. Uh, that one hurried maybe a little bit, as it will be Top Cheese now with a rebound, but into the midfield just as well. So some chaos indeed unfolding. The goal left uh, here in the numbers and will recover. Duller Ranger puts it home and doing the favors for Team Vandal. 12 to 10. Both teams, I think, in the last 20 seconds, a couple of those you know, rushed panic clears in, in the deep end of the floor. But it did go back to Team Vandal at the end of things, and they were able to secure those goals on the uh, defense who just was not able to get their full force back in the mix. A really good round for these two teams. With that, uh, to the stat screen, courtesy again, IgniteVR.gg and the Spark application. Uh, top Cheese, as you see, putting in some serious points. 14 of them. Not to mention the three assists uh, as well. Reaction time with four and four and points and assists. Kai with two points, one assist, three saves. You have B-Ball with eight and four and points and assists. So I love the, uh, the good distribution of scoring there. And, and assists especially. For Team Vandal's side of things... Dan Potato with three points, two saves. Della Ranger with six points, an assist, and four saves. Unitive with uh, two, three, and two, and points, assists, and saves. And then Southern Sniper with nine and three points and assists. So, likewise for them. Good uh, scoring distribution. I like that uh, they have all those assists on the board. And also doing some pretty good defensive work. I mean, 60% of the saves uh, going in their favor. So, on the whole, a lot of positives here to, to take away from uh, either team. Really the killer for both. In the first round, those midfield uh, turnovers and rush clears, things like that, that happened in the first round for Team Vandal. But they cleaned it up in round two, and then it kind of flipped over, where Evil was suddenly the ones making more of those uh, making more of those turnovers in, in the midfield and, and missing those connections and their stacks and things like that. So, well, I say, uh, this level of play, especially at this point in the season, it's very rare for one team to just completely uh, stampede and, and demolish one team for an entire 20 minutes. You know, maybe for five minutes at a time or 10 minutes at a time based on the ebbs and flows, but very rare uh, to have that go on for a full match. You're going to have teams get hot and then teams get cold, exactly as has happened right here. Uh, so with that said, back into the round here uh, somewhat shortly. I opted for a extended intermission just to talk things through, which, again, I think it's a, the safe choice, smart choice. Saw Southern Sniper in the chat also. Um, not Southern Sniper, uh, sorry, Flare VR <laughs> saying uh, going to Channel 1. Uh, yes, Spaghetti and New York Kings is happening on Channel 1 right about now. And just the same at the top of the hour will be Ignite versus... Uh, the New York Kings. So you got some options for sure. 
Southern Sniper scoring three pointers as Agent Victoria. Yeah, hidden, uh, hidden hot right when they needed to. Could not afford to lose that round, obviously. So now, now we've had one great round from either team. Let's see who starts with a better uh, rhythm in round three. These opening minutes, always a question of uh, who's just a little bit better, who's a little bit more focused, who, who re-strategized successfully in that uh, intermission time. Enough to set the, the tone, as uh, Soggy Bunnings likes to say, right? So, there it goes. Setting that tone, setting the pace. A gentle series of passes here. I like that from Team Vandal, but I love that as well from Top Cheese on the defense for Evil. The pretty calm passing. But it still resulted in a turnover thanks to the defense and right through the fence. It's a three-pointer first for reaction time. Able to claim those first points after about 50 seconds here by going to the first minute of action. So punitive on this first launch offensively for Team Vandal. Bring it right up to that stack, just not uh, wanting to pass it off too early. Which, again, it's nice to see. It's a change, a change from their struggles in the earlier rounds. Uh, you, you can tell that the team has been able to calm it down uh, quite a bit compared to then. But Evil down that floor. Some good leeches there from Southern Sniper all the way down the floor. But eventually uh, gets left with a stun. Not sure if it was a shield or otherwise, but they will concede two three-pointers in a row to Evil now. Reaction time. Puts them up six. So falling behind by a couple of couple of three pointers early, not good news for Team Vandal. But at the same time, the, the good news is the fact that it's uh, still a lot of time left to spare. You don't want to get behind fast, but at the same time, you got to recognize well we can we can get back ahead just as fast uh, with eight minutes on the clock in this decisive round. So as Team Vandal works it up the floor, Dollar Ranger there had that game winner in round two, trying to eye that backboard pass and perfectly placed into that perfect pocket. They've got their first two points in this third round and did it in a very fundamental way. Efficient way as well. 18 seconds removed. So with that first offensive joust for Evil this time around, kind of struggling on that initial pass. Uh, make that the, the two passes actually in a row. So. One of those unforced turnovers now biting him back again as Evil tries to get back on the defensive end of things. A one stack of players getting just about there and wow, they could not afford to waste any other second. That would have been a three and that would have put uh, this game within one point. As I say that though, it is a turnaround into the three. Just missed there, so counting the blessings certainly are the Vandal defenders as they are able to get back in time to disrupt. So that could be... Potential costly miss for Evil's side, and uh, let's see if they punish them. A rebounded play, and down on in for Damp Potato. That's two shots now from Damp Potato, I think. Uh, one in the first round, and then one in this round, where it, it takes that really aggressive ding off that inner pole, but it's so close where the margins of error, I mean, we're, we're talking um, a hair's width, basically. Big hit for Team Vandal. Good job on them to be able to punish off the turnovers they caused and bring themselves within a couple of points. 6.30 still remaining in round three. So that disc does get sent out here to, uh, to Kai. Kai being stunned, however, overtaken, although the stack is there to recover without too much of an issue. That defensive stack once again trying to pressure. Adela Ranger and Dan Potato doing well for themselves. And Southern Sniper now diving as well. So good pressure from the stack. And then a nice dive from uh, that third player, Southern to cause a turnover, although it does get back to them again, uh, but holding on for it to it too long and uh, releasing that disc is Duller Ranger. So they are off into the races once more. They can tie, take a lead. Let's see, Duller from the corner and Duller right into the middle of the goal. It's tied six apiece. And so those ebbs and flows continue to do just that. Ebb and flow. One team goes hot, one team goes cold. A minute or two later, switch it around. <laughs> Agent Victoria talking about the those those uh, goalpost dings that go in. Yeah, <laughs> those shot angles are indeed an enigma sometimes. But playing those margins close with a great pass there up close into the goal, four meters out. Ball, B ball is able to get that off in time with a defender nearby. 
Two defenders, in fact, nearby. Well, after a few goals in a row from Team Vandal, Evil able to break that silence and get right back onto the score sheet. Just the same. So excellent rebuttal. Uh, this match has been supremely competitive. Basically just going to come down to uh, which team makes the fewer mistakes in the midfield. As uh, that's per perfect, perfect play in the bubbles. Well, uh, wonderfully done by Duller and Southern Sniper. That was a great passing play. Nice and easy. Made the catch. Made the catch easy. And because uh, it came in just a, basically right inside the goal, offered no room to save it. So yeah, for both these teams, the bubble play has actually been pretty immaculate on the whole. They've been excellent. It's been purely a story of the midfield play that's been making the difference otherwise. As I say that, a deep pass, maybe too deep as it will be intercepted by Southern, able to get the read. A top cheese now down the floor underneath Southern Sniper's arm. So this is going to be sent into the bubble where they do have a couple of backliners on the defense. T uh, Team Vandal able to get that without too much of a worry. Pass to Duller. Duller does have to worry about Top Cheese and Reaction, who do get a good stun uh, and should be in position here to recover, and they will. So back into the midfield. The decisive midfield taken by Damp Potato. A deep pass into the bubble. It will go. Southern Sniper maneuvering all around, inverting, not converting, however. A rebound, though, from Damp. Damp sending it below to Southern. Southern will reset that wisely to the bow tie. Punitive diving out. Punitive with a pass. Losing the handles was Damp there. And turnover, perhaps, back into the midfield at the very least. The nice passes on the hole from uh, Team Vandal, but as we know, the more and more of those passes you link, Eventually, one of them is probably going to miss. So it, it, took them a, it took them a while, but eventually it did turn over. So reaction time, as I do say that, will be here with, with the disc from that back angle on that double diamond. Working it to top cheese. Top cheese sending it back to reaction time. Uh, that deep pass into the goal. Off that backboard, a great dive coming in. And another one nearly made, but I like the defense and the offense just the same. Kind of an immovable object, unstoppable force situation where... You know, the defense is playing quite good. The offense is playing quite well. <laughs> Neither really breaking each other, however, in that juncture. So tied up here. Uh, fittingly, a stalemate in this game now with only a couple minutes remaining and some seconds. So really, just a, a tale of, uh, not two halves, but a tale of three rounds this has been. Where it was a more lopsided round in, in the first round for one team then kind of flip-flop for... Uh, the second round, and now in the third round, it's basically dead even. Neither team uh, able to put on substantial runs. It's just a series of miniature runs coming in with a lot of great passing and a lot of great defense in a row in, uh, all between. As I say that, another ding! Wow! So both teams now on uh, either end of the floor, they've had these near goals that just are unable to hit. Less than two minutes remaining now. Incredible action, incredibly competitive action as they return into the goal and sending it for a three. Oh, the fact that, that was a three is huge for Top Cheese. A two would not have been as bad, but a three-pointer going against Team Vandal, that is going to be fantastic momentum for Evil because you're really putting Team Vandal on a kind of an anxious disadvantage where now they know they either have to score two twos in the next minute and a half, which is stressful in its own right, or they have to score a three here uh, near the end. Either way, though, the thing is you're going to give a disc advantage back to Evil, and that's the dangerous part about this. Let's see. They need to score quickly. They do, and redirected into it was Damn Potato. That was stellar. Because you saw that goalkeeper had lurched forward to maybe make a save, but Damn Potato actually redirected it right at the last second for a guarantee. Nicely done. They're within one. They've got a minute left remaining. So defensive joust. Let's see how uh, how this one goes. It's going to be so crucial that they get those stacks and really those double stacks going if they can. Uh, they need to stay. They need to stay mobile basically, and just keep that pressure on. There it is. So high pressure situation causing a turnover. Last 43 seconds of play flung into there. So once more the stacks needing to get uh, in a hurry into that bubble. But time to uh, collect, but a rush clear. We saw those kill Team Vandal earlier on. This time though, Evil, a bit of a rush clear will be intercepted at the midfield. So Duller Ranger with a chance maybe to take a shot. Uh, if they if they can, they want to take this last shot. Do not give any time. And there's a space and there it is. Perfectly placed. It's Team Vandal with a one point lead. And this is just about going to guarantee them their win. Only a few seconds remaining on the clock. In fact, maybe none. So Team Vandal coming out huge. 
and last shot taken indeed. One point victory, and Team Vandal will go up to 12 and 1 on the season. And 12 and 11 on the score. Fantastic match that was. Team Vandal able to clutch it up at the end. And what did it come down to, as I was saying? The midfield, right? Those turnovers at the midfield. That uh, just one rush clear, and it was punished in the most deadly of ways by Vandal. Who were able to fix their mistakes uh, and from that first round. And they just they played so much more clean here in the last uh, two rounds now, two and three. But with that, uh, that will be the match. That, that was a super exciting one, without a doubt. Look at that. I mean, 22 to 8. Big disparity, admittedly, in that first round. Uh, again, those two Chicago-type goals, which I definitely, I think especially in hindsight, right? Now we can say, okay, that uh, that had to have tilted them uh, a bit because they just they stopped scoring from then, that point on. They got bombarded to the tune of 22. Uh, so it was just mental game. But what they do, they came back in uh, the second and third rounds, both of them came down to the wire, right? Only one goal separating a win or a loss. 12 to 10, and then 12 to 11. And uh, they just finished it out. They tightened up on the turnovers. They got a bit faster on their stacks. Uh, the bubble passing was beautiful. And the defense, too, at multiple avenues for Vandal uh, was fantastic in that goal. They were marking and, and, and diving all the right players at the right time. So, uh, Evil, though, still a great showing for them, uh, all things considered, because you know, that will be a 7-6 and six record for them. Uh, they were... Just one position in actually in front of Team Vandal before this match in terms of the ranks, 36 and 37. But as you see, uh, you know, they, they held strong. They put out an outburst in the first round and they still had a very close match against this almost spotless team in the latter two rounds. So it was still a great effort on Evil's side. Uh, I love uh, once more the difference in, uh, or sorry, the spread of assists and, and points. I mean, a lot of these stats, look at that, it's actually incredibly even. 55% or basically in the 50% range for just about every every one of these stats except for steals which is only um, a slight difference <laughs> otherwise look at that 55% points for evil 58% on assists 50% on the save so half and half for either team uh, you know 49 to 51 on the stuns 49 to 51 on possession time 49 to 51 on a, uh, shot attempts that is what you call an even, even match. Uh, but with that said, that is this game, and that is this round, and that was a stellar one to see. Over on Channel 1, I guess uh, we'll redirect, uh, redirect you guys now. I'll uh, send you on a raid for those remaining. Maybe squeeze out a few extra channel points uh, via the raid. So I'll go over to Channel 1 here in a moment. One sec. All right, there you go. So we can... Raid Channel 1, check out those Master Division games going on right now with uh, New York Kings, Spaghetti, as well as uh, New York Kings versus Ignite, which is happening at the top of the hour. Get some extra points in there. Get those cast match redemptions. All that great stuff. And uh, yeah, with that, we shall be off for now. Uh, I've been Palador, this has been VRML. Thank you for joining, and uh, go enjoy the rest of your nights. I'll probably see you around uh, soon. But otherwise, be happy, healthy, safe, and all that. And, uh, yeah. Peace! Season 4 of VRML Echo Arena is brought to you by HyperX Asterian Products VRWare Rebuff Reality VR Cover and ProTube VR <laughs>